Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and on this channel we cover all things beauty and a whole lot of fragrance content and today I have two body mists from the brand Fleur. I have not smelled this. Obviously, I have not opened it up. I wanted to do it together to be able to get my first impression on these. I know one is called the Moonstone Spray and the other one might be Dragon Fruit. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm very intrigued to see how the Moonstone one is going to smell. Okay, yep, we have the Dragon Fruit and the Moonstone. The Moonstone is really piquing my interest. The bottles are so cute. Now, you guys know I would have bought this on my own, but thank you so much to Fleur for sending these over. I love the last round that you guys sent. They were so beautiful. And my favorite still is the vanilla, but I have a feeling I'm going to call it... I love dragon fruit, but then again, let's go ahead and see the notes. By the way, this is available on their website and also on Sephora right now. On Sephora for a three fluid ounce... This retails for $20, and then for the 8 fluid ounce, it retails for $35, which I think that's actually really reasonably priced, especially considering at least the last round they sent over were pretty long-lasting for body mists. And these are categorized as body and hair mists. The dragon fruit has notes of top notes of pineapple, dragon fruit, and watermelon. Heart notes of plum blossom, lotus flower, and peony. My mouth is watering. And base notes of sugared amber, vanilla bean, and sandalwood. I love vanilla bean. All these notes sound scrumptious, so this one might be the winner. But let me look at the notes of the Moonstone. Top notes are green apple, pineapple, and black currant. What? Uh, heart notes of lemon zest, mandarin, orange, jasmine, and geranium. And base notes of sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. So they're both fruity florals. This one just seems like it's going to have more citrus running throughout and maybe it won't have as much sweetness let's go ahead and try let's try the dragon fruit first because honestly like i said i'm a little hungry at this point because of it beautiful atomizer i really get that pineapple a lot it's sweet it's fruity it is very juicy and I have to sneeze. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is really nice. This is sweet. This is fruity. It's feminine. I mostly get that dragon fruit mixed in with the pineapple. I could see watermelon, but I'm not really smelling watermelon as the star of the show. I would say that's definitely more in the background to me. Just maybe adding to the fresh, juicy quality of it, especially in the opening. As it dries down, I am starting to get more of the florals just kind of evening out and balancing the fragrance. But still, I think it's very sweet and very fruity. The fruit is for sure the star of the show, but it's done in a really fresh way, which I totally love. And yeah, if you're looking for something that's feminine, very tropical in the opening, I'll say. If you like, for example, I would say like cloud pink, just the opening, I feel like the way the dragon fruit is done is similar, but not as syrupy sweet. You know, it's definitely more, it has those florals, it has that freshness to it that I really enjoy and ultimately I think this will be beautiful for this summer now again I do want to harp on the fact that this does feel light to me so I think it is going to be something that I would have to over spray I don't know if I get vanilla bean but again I am getting that sugared amber with that sweetness and the sweetness could be coming from the fruits the vanilla all of that. I also feel like, once again, I do get not only the watermelon, but that lotus coming through and giving it that fresh, like, I love that fresh quality this has. It's not so overly sweet, like, for example, Kaoli Eden Sparkling Lychee. It's not, like, that level of, like, sweet candy vibes, but this is very juicy in the opening, which I do enjoy, but the way it's done, especially towards the dry down, is for sure more wearable to me. 
and a little bit more, again, I just keep saying fresh, fresh, fruity floral. Really nice. I do like this one. Now let's try the Moonstone. I cannot get over this bottle. I love purple so much and it's just, it's so beautiful to me. So the notes on this one, did I already read them? I did. Okay, so... Yeah, way more citrusy to me, but it definitely smells like what it looks like, I'll say. My SD card ran out of storage, so I'm gonna have to film the rest of this on my phone. I've been doing so bad at this lately. I am sorry, besties. I have to get an SD card with more storage. I just have to because it's annoying for me and I'm sure it's annoying for you guys, so I'm gonna respray the Moonstone just to smell the top notes again. In the opening, I really do get the lemon zest that comes through. I get the citruses and I get a sweet burst of pineapple in the opening that I think is really pretty. It's not as tangy and tropical as in the Moonstone, or sorry, as in the dragon fruit, but it is really appealing. And I also get something that smells aromatic, floral, and green. I feel like that may be the geranium mixed in with that green apple, which you really do get in the opening, and it is beautiful. I think this fragrance smells really interesting. It smells very complex in comparison to this one. I've been sitting with them for a minute or so and this one I would say is more flirty. It's more girly. It's just a fun vibe. It's definitely more youthful and yeah, if you like something that's sugary, fruity, definitely more fruity than floral and just a fun tropical summer vibe i think you'd really enjoy this one but if you are looking for something that does have more layers to it like i feel like this fragrance is a woman that has layers to her that just intrigues you and you just want to keep on learning more it's not like everybody else it really has some cool character to it which i think both are great this one for me just kind of has a smell that I do find kind of enchanting, whereas this fragrance is just something I would throw on if I wanted to smell flirty, girly, and fun. So as this one dries down, I'm not even sure if I finished describing it. As this one dries down, it actually starts to have more of that ambery, vanilla, sensual scent that I adore. And you get the florals, the sweetness is still there. I really, really like this one. I think I may prefer it over the dragon fruit only because as I'm going back to my dragon fruit, if it stayed how it opened up, I may prefer this one more just based off my personal preference. But in the opening, it's mouthwatering, it's juicy, it's sweet. If you smell like this, someone may want to eat ya, okay? That is how good this smells in the opening. But it's so light and so sheer and it changes so much towards the dry down. Um, like smelling the dry down right now, it's just very sugary, little sweet, fruity. You get the florals too and very sandalwood, sugary. Like barely there, very light, and it, it doesn't smell as yummy and tangy and just, again, mouth-watering as in the opening, I have to say. And this is something I'm just now realizing. It settles down. It's a very quiet fragrance in comparison to this one. This one has more strength to it, which I do enjoy. And just more layers, more complexity, you know? This one, I mean... Overspraying is an option, but the fact that it changes so much from the opening to the dry down, I don't get that really sweet, yummy, tropical treat that I get in the opening, and that is unfortunate. Now, this one is so gorgeous. If you are somebody that likes more of like an ethereal, feminine, a little bit more of a womanly scent, this, I mean, even this fragrance, 
does maintain more of that sweetness that I get in the opening. And I love it mixed in with that amber. You have the sandalwood, like this is stunning. This is a stunning woman for sure. And it is done in a more elevated way, I'll say. Like this one has more of a perfume feel than the dragon fruit. I feel like this would have somebody obsessed with you and I feel like someone would want to drink your bath water if you smell this way. I feel like someone would want to eat you if you smell like the opening of this one though. But yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, a big thank you to Fleur for sending this over. Keep in mind, these are just my first impressions and they are subject to change. If anything does change, I will let you guys know and I will link these fragrances down below. If you have tried these, please let me know your thoughts. Do you like them? Do you like one more than the other? I happen to like this fragrance a lot more just based off, like I said, the strength of it. I feel like this one is more of like a complex, alluring fragrance. So for that reason, this one does take the cake, but I do enjoy both. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things, and I will see you in the next one. I also feel super weird recording on my phone. I'm pretty sure I should be looking over here. So if I've looked really funny for like the second half of the video, please just disregard that. Give me grace, but I love you and I will see you later. Bye!